The first week in September 2014 saw the UK's Joint Helicopter Command deploy an Aviation Task Force Headquarters along with 150 personnel and helicopters to Marion Camp in Castle Martin, Pembrokeshire to undertake Exercise Agile Sphere 2014. This particular exercise scenario was designed to test the ATF HQ and their enablers in support of disaster relief operations working with military and cross-government agencies to complete a series of disaster and relief missions. The exercise was also designed to test the rapid deployment contingency capabilities of the RAF Benson-based Aviation Task Force Headquarters, which is held at five days notice to deploy and conduct a wide range of helicopter operations. Also supporting the exercise and obtaining their own training requirements were various support helicopters, include RAF Merlins, RAF Chinooks, Army Lynx, and the new upgraded RAF Puma 8C Mark II helicopters. November 2013 saw the first RAF crews begin their training on the new Puma 8C Mark II at RAF Benson following the upgrade program. This will eventually see the RAF operating a fleet of 24 Puma 8C Mark IIs with a full operational capability due to be announced in 2015. The Puma 8C Mark I first entered service with the RAF in 1971 and the upgrade program includes more powerful Mikaela turboshaft engines providing 35% more power and improved fuel efficiency. This allows the Puma 8C Mark II to fly faster and has twice the range of the original Puma 8C Mark I. The upgrade also included a digitised glass cockpit and upgraded LCD instruments as well as ballistic protection. The aircraft can carry 16 fully equipped troops making it ideal to undertake a range of missions and transporting personnel and equipment in and out of confined urban areas. The Puma HC Mark II crews, based at RAF Benson, used the exercise to expand the operational capabilities of this new aircraft, undertaking a range of missions in support of the Aviation Task Force HQ. Exercise Agile Spear was part of a series of exercises to test the conceptual development of the ATF headquarters and help to build the functionality and tailored approach to aviation support which will allow the UK's Joint Helicopter Command to encompass the widest range of missions and scenarios.